10 to the x plus 10 to the 3x equal to 10 and x is real number. We want to find all possible values of x. One way is to divide both sides by 10. You can do that if you want. But I see that here I have 10 to the x. Here I have 10 to the 3x. They are related to each other. This one is first one to the power of 3. Why? By power rule, we can say if you have mn, you can write it as a to the m to the n, or you can write it as a to the n to the n. If you apply this for 10 to the 3x, the first one is 10 to the x, the next one is 10 to the x cubed, equal to 10. Now in this step, I consider 10 to the x as y. So it will be y plus y cubed equal to 10. Now we try, because the degree is 3 here, you should find one answer, at least one answer. If you check y0, 1, negative 1, it doesn't work. But if you check y2, then it will be 2 plus 2 cubed, which is 2 plus 8, which is 10. And it works. So y equal to 2 is one answer. So let's find all values of y, then we find all values of x. So we take all things to one side, y cubed plus y minus, and if we rearrange this, because y2 is one root, we factor from y, we factorize, and one factor is y minus 2, the other factor is y squared. We want to create y cubed, it will be y cubed minus 2y squared. Then we don't have here y squared, so I place plus 2y, it will be plus 2y squared minus 4y. I don't have, I have plus y, so I have negative 4y, I need plus 5y. So I place plus 5, it will be plus 5y minus 10, which is exactly the previous term. So product of two terms equal to 0. We can conclude the first term is 0, or second term is 0. For well, first term is 0, y equal to 2, we've checked. First case. Second case, which is this, y squared plus 2y plus 5 equal to 0. Now I use a famous identity that a plus b squared equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now I want to use this identity. You can also prove with quadratic formula that here we don't have any answer. I write y squared plus 2y. Instead of 5, I write 1 plus 4 equal to 0. By using this identity, I can say it is y plus 1 squared plus 4 equal to 0. So if we subtract 4 from both sides, y plus 1 squared equal to negative 4. But we said x is real number. And also here, y is real number because it is 10 to the x. So real number squared is at least 0, but it is negative 4. It's impossible. So case 2 is impossible. We should only focus on case 1. y equal to 2. So we can say by using that y equal to 10 to the x, 10 to the x equal to 2, and we want to see x is what? Solving this, if we know that e to the m equal to a, it is equivalent. m equal to log b of a. If we apply it here, x equal to log 10 of 2. So, it is our only answer in real number. Okay, as homework, you can solve another problem. Like, for example, 5 to the x minus 5 to the 3x. Or let's write this, 5 to the 3x, mm, I am thinking, solve this, 5 to the 3x minus 5 to the x equal to, let's see, 6. And x is real number, try to solve this as homework and comment your answers right below this video. And if you have questions, send message to my WhatsApp number. Please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.